Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a parcel from Timo. Yeah, um, I wanted to order some uh, tops, some uh, like t-shirty tops. Um, I got one last summer and it was okay and it's washed okay. It's not particularly like the nice t-shirty cotton material that I like. It's more sort of nylon-y feeling, but not real nylon-y. So yeah, it is, it's okay and I liked it. So I've seen a couple of nice designs and I thought I'm going to order those as well because they are quite a reasonable price as well on that uh, Timu. Um, and they do do the bigger sizes because I've always found in the past, because I'm a bigger lady, um, that when you order things from sort of china they tend to be really really small i ordered a cardigan once and it came and it sort of fitted my granddaughter rather than me. <laughs> that could be a me problem but anyway yes yeah, so you know i know what size and everything to get and they were okay so yeah i've taken those out of the packet but i thought you might like to see what else i got as well i'm not into doing fashion shows uh, maybe one day never say never okay so i'm going to take everything out of the bag to start off with as we've done in the past and then we'll look at everything individually so of course i've got some diamond painting bits and uh, look we've got new boxes with diamond painting rather than diamond panting on so that's a diamond painting and we have another diamond painting and a diamond painting project and another diamond painting okay yeah there was quite a few special offers on you know when you go through and it says look at this price and look at this price and i just thought oh well it'd be rude not to i can always use them as giveaways there is a giveaway coming up and um, i've just got to get myself well and organized to be able to do it but a box again these are all sort of like cheap little things and um, i've got a sink thing <laughs> got another diamond painting project got some Marcock coasters what else is in here uh, I've got an, oh, another little dinky doodah and something in a box <laughs> uh, something in a bag and something else in a bag okay I think that's everything for now <laughs> so right uh, let's put all the diamond painting ones to one side for now I'm losing my voice again can you tell <laughs> lovely gold that's diamond painting related they're sort of crafty things so i'll do those in a second so let's look at the strange bits first grab my scissors and see what this is um i've ordered all sorts of things so we'll see what we've got all right ah right okay yeah this is a thing to we've lost one of the plugs in our house so this is just a thing to go in the sink rather than using a plug so i've got that and the price of that was only 88 pence so i thought for 88 pence it was worth giving it a go it has got a bit of rubber and everything on it but yeah just if you've not got um a plug or you've lost your plug then these can be quite good they can sort of like clip into place and then, oh, that's not very good. I hope that doesn't grip it and then I can't get the flipping thing out. Oh, does this lift? Does it push? Does it push? Oh, I'll have to be careful with that. I don't want this getting stuck in the sink. Um, but yeah, I do want to be able to get water in and out. <laughs> and then this is like a sink um, tidy thing. This was uh, 67 pence. So this is to catch all the rubbish and bits, you know, if you like peeling potatoes or you've uh, been straining vegetables or something and the odd ones escaped. And this goes like in the plug hole and uh, it catches all the bits so you can just pick them up and throw them away rather than, uh, yeah, it's uh, all going down the sink. So that's another sort of practical use, just cheapy little bits and pieces. I know it's sort of like when you start adding 67 pence and 87 pence and, you know, you can soon get to like five and ten pound, um, which is a bit more uh, considered purchase, as it were. Uh, but, yeah, I, I thought they were worth a try for that price. And then this popped up as um, a special. So it's like a little pen box and it was only 59 pence. So I thought, yeah, um, I'm getting uh, fed up of dusting my pens that are on my craft desk. So I might actually start putting them into a box instead of having them out on display on my desk. I don't know. I do like seeing the display. Um, I'm just finding I don't like dusting. <laughs> so it's just literally a clip box with a couple of uh, 
little hinges on it there. Uh, let's grab a diamond painting pen. Yeah, they fit in. Look, get quite a few of these in. So I don't like having them out on display, but uh, yeah, I get sick of dusting them. So 4 59 pence. I thought that was uh, quite a good price as well. Okay, what's the other little bit that I got? What's this then? What's this? Something in a box. Okay. Oh, I remember. Yay. So it's one of those stapleless staplers. It's supposed to crimp the corners together on paper. So you then don't have to put little metal staples or anything in things. So let's set, grab a piece of paper. This was a random colour and it was set £1.34. So let's see. So you pop that in there and push it down. Oh yeah, look. Well, that's quite good then. So look, it's even wrapped it round there. So it's a stapler without using staples. I'm sure I had one many, many years ago and I've no idea what happened to it. But yeah, I quite like that idea. And then you can get it open. It's sort of like, oops. Ha! Yeah, it's sort of, that's really clever. It pushes out that little piece of paper there and pushes it through that little loop there. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. I like that. Uh, yay! This is just my piece of paper that I print out to go in my accounts, but also so that I know what I'm uh, telling you the prices of. So, yeah, okay, that's going to be useful. All right. It's got quite a few. I don't know if you can... No, you can't quite see it. In, oh, yeah, you can. So, yeah, as it closes up, you've got all the little mechanism inside there that pushes it together. So that's very handy. Yay. No more staples that I have to think. Oh, no, I must get that off the floor just in case Millie stands on it. All right. So, yep, yeah, I've ordered some more of the coasters. Not coasters. Cork backings for coasters. This is a pack of 10 for pound fifty-three, And these are a little bit thicker. The ones I got last time were about half that thickness. So I thought I'll get some little bit thicker ones as well so that I can compare and see which ones are best. But obviously, these look a lot better. They're a lot uh, thicker. So the others I was thinking I was going to have to stick two together anyway. So, yeah, they're great. They're fine. They will get used. So they have to go on my coasters. Great. OK. Uh, and then I ordered some of this just to see what it was like, see what the stick's like, see what the quality's like. This is one piece self-adhesive crystal rhinestones, two rows, £1.28. So I've just got the very, very thin one. They do several different sizes. And I thought if the smaller one is OK, which obviously this is the cheapest price, then I may order the bigger one as well. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's see if the backing comes off it OK. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, very sticky. OK, so I'll probably order some more, but I do like sometimes just putting an edging round things and I do use these in card making as well. I got the clear crystal. They do do lots of other colours, but I thought, well, the clear um, is more useful and you can always colour. If you've got alcohol marker pens, you can uh, colour these crystals into different colours. So you can put, say, pink or pink <laughs> or blue or whatever on them. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, a nice little buy, not a bad price. Uh, does it tell me how much is in here? No, it doesn't. It's just got lots of... Um... Oh, brand, Mr Drill. <laughs> doesn't tell me the size. I would think there's probably a metre there. Looks like there's about a metre, so that's useful. And then I got a diamond painting pen. Don't ask me why I got a diamond painting pen. Possibly because it was cheap. Uh, £1.33. So it'll go in my new box. Hooray, was the cry. Have a look at this one. So I just quite liked the colour on it, the pink going to the uh, aqua turquoisey blue. So oh, it's real. Now I was expecting it to be like acrylic, but it's like a real smooth, more of a rubbery feel. But it's acrylic, so a very matte finish on it. Just that little bit different, and uh, yeah, it's just got that design. You can see, look, it's all sort of ridged design on it there and then this will just oops pop off she says hopefully oh my goodness mate it's fighting back oh well that one but ah that's because you've got to uh oh no 
No, it should just uh, pull off, surely, to goodness. Well, it unscrews, but that's not much good, is it? Unless do they just go... Oh, I see. Oh, silly Liz. I was thinking that there was going to be like a tip to put them in, but no. <laughs> I tell you, if I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. So that's your single placer. Okay, and then it has got a smoothish bit there with just some like grip parts just to hold on to there to make it a bit comfier for holding. Um, but yeah, I just thought, well, for £1.33, it's not bad. Uh, we've got a few places. Uh, Put them on a cork back in so you can actually see what we've got. So we've got uh, an elbow placer, an elbow bent single placer there. And it looks like that's probably about a 9 or a 10 um, straightener there. And I think we've got the basic. These are the very old ones, the thick ones. A 9, a 6 and a 3 placer as well. So just in the clear old style. So yeah, very good. Not bad for the price at all. Yay! Okay. So, yeah, it's not a pull-off, it's a screw-on. <laughs> and I've probably broken it now. Yeah, I probably have. It's not going to go back on. I'll have to... I'll have to... Oh, no, that's it. Look, it will go back on. I'll have to play with that. I've, uh, yeah, well and truly trying to pull it off. Yeah. It won't be the first time I've broken a pen because I don't know how to use it. <laughs> oh. Let's get on to the good bits, the diamond painting bits. So what shall we look at first? Um, um, let's look at this one. I knew this was going to be small. Uh, judging by the things that I bought last time, I'm expecting things to be on a smaller scale. Other than the canvases, you know, I'm expecting they're not going to be the big like 9 and 12 inch things that uh, you normally get from the diamond painting, painting companies. They're going to be like 3 and 4 inches. But I just thought this was really, really cute. And the price of this one was £3.56. And I just thought, oh, I like it. You know, I like my owls. So, yeah. Okay, it's just um, a generic link chain. Actually, this is quite a thick one as well, quite a heavy one with your just basic lobster claw clasps. Well, they're not lobster. Well, they are lobster claw clasps. So they're like the hook clasps at the end there. Just the basic ones. Have a look at the gems in a second. Pen boat wax and a basic toolkit. And then our cute little owls. Oh, it's got a bit burnt there. Look, when the laser cutting, sometimes it gets too hot. It does scorch the edges. But that's okay. It maybe look like part of the tree. Um, it is clear. It's just got the cover to go on the top. Very, very thin. This acrylic um, probably... I don't know, what are they, about two millimetres, three millimetres, so I reckon if that's one or two millimetres thick, that's all it is, so they're very bendable. But then sometimes that's better because it makes them a bit more pliable um, and less easy, easily snapped, she says, hopefully. Uh, the chain will just go through all that whole little holes. So they've got one there and one there, look, on the back. But it's just these choke cute little owls, and I thought it'd be quite nice for Valentine's Day. He's sort of like staring at her lovingly and she's going, well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I do like a hat though. She's got like a hat with um, greenery coming off the top and I'm presuming that's going to be some of the flowers. Maybe he's made of the hat. Or actually, maybe he's... St actually, yeah, he is staring at that hat thinking, what on earth is she wearing? And she's going, well, I look so pretty. <laughs> Make up your own stories. <laughs> I thought it was quite cute. We'll give it a quick measure, but I think we know what it's going to be. It's a tiny, tiny one, but yeah, I've got over the shock of the last one now. Yeah, six inches, uh, about 15 and a half ish centimetres by about five inches, which is about 14 ish centimetres. So yeah, but say for £3.48, and they're great if you just starting out or if you've got children that are wanting to do them and you want to keep your larger ones um, but they get their own little ones to try on that's uh, probably a good idea as well so let me get into these gems we'll have a quick look at the colours Ooh, got a hot pink I think 
Okay, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different gems and colours, two specials at the end. So we have a hot pink, yes, and a dark red, and a bright orange, and a lovely grassy green, and a honey gold, and a bronzy colour, and a peachy colour, and a pale pink. Oh, that's they look really small with that colour. They're not the standard size, but they do look really small gems. They do look small. They're smaller than the standard one, though. Do you know they are a bit smaller, aren't they? Is it just my eyes, or do you think they look smaller as well? I think they're a bit smaller. Hmm, strange. Okay, we've got another bronzy colour and then a slightly larger pink. And some teeny tiny teardrops in gold. And some of those lovely um, marquees that have no facets on. So they look really like glass, like a cabochon. But uh, of course they are acrylic. Okay, so that will be our lovely little owls. I think she's going to have the uh, cabochons in her hair dress. In her hat there, look all decorating round. Looking very, very pretty. Pop those away, pop the chain in there as well. Keep it all together. And we'll have a look at the next one. So that's pretty. So you've just got to be careful when, you know, I'm a, I am quite a firm believer in you pay for what you get. Um, so, you know, if you buy something and you're expecting it to be huge for £3, then possibly it's not going to be. But that's okay for what I've paid for it. Now then, this one, it's another one that I've not... Well, I don't think I've seen that one anywhere, but I've not really seen this one anywhere either. And I thought, oh, that's different. And I just wanted to give it a try and see what it's like. So it's another project. Oh, it's got one of the bigger bases. That is quite a big base, actually. So what size are you? Oh, not too bad at all. So it's not a teeny tiny one, this one. And it's come in a nice box to protect it. Pen, butt and wax. And it is a tree, but it's not just any tree. It's a butterfly tree. Look at that. And I just thought it's so pretty. And this will quite possibly be one of my birthday card um, decorations that I send to somebody. So I'll just put a message on the back. And instead of sending a birthday card, they can have this. And then they can either keep it out all year or just put it up each year on the birthday or whatever. But I just thought it was really, really pretty. So we've got the tree, all the roots at the bottom here with a few little flowers. And then we've got all blossoming things on the tree. But mainly the flowers on the tree are all little teeny tiny butterflies. And I did think that was really pretty. And the price of this one was only £4.93. So yeah, under a fiver. That was pretty good. And it's all done in crystals. It's got uh, like a dust cover on the back. So you'll need to take that off. Once you've done your diamond painting, it just sort of stops fingerprints and scratches and dust and things. And then the top cover, obviously, you just take that off and uh, match up your gems to your numbers and letters on your uh, tree there. But isn't that pretty? And I say that is quite a good size. I think we're looking at maybe an eight inch, shall we, on this one? Do you know, I've only just put my tape measure down and can I find it? No, there it is. <laughs> Oh, it's seven and a half inches, so I wasn't far off. 19 centimetres. By, yep, it's eight inches that way, 20 centimetres. Just under, not far off. So, yeah, good size. And again, your base, it's got a dust cover on both sides. So just peel that off. They're not very easy to get off these. I tend to use tweezers because I don't want to spoil my nails any more than they already have been. Yeah, you can see it's just scratch in there a little bit so you can see your cover see if i can just get a little bit of it off to show you yeah so once you peel it on both sides then you've got a completely clear um little stand there and it will just stand in the stand ba -bum, that's what they're for <laughs> oh that's gonna look really really pretty yay it's quite summery that one. I think I'll do this one as part of my summer display rather than my spring display. And crystals. So. Ooh, lots of colours. How many have we got in this one? So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Different gems and colours. Yay! So we have that's like a grey green. Excuse me, Millie's just gone under the desk. And he's shoving me out the way. Yeah, it's like a dark grey green and a nice limey green. 
and a peachy colour and a pale blue and a nice amber colour and a little bit darker pink and we have a hot pink yay so i'm calling hot pink your plain silver and a little bit of a bronzy colour then oh they're nice they're a blue marquee um, and there's no facets on them so again like the pink ones they look a little bit like glass sorry i'm not showing you again i've got this habit of sort of like putting them like this so i can see what they are and i'm looking at them and you can't see them just shout at me and say liz we can't see it <laughs> okay some teeny tiny marquees in pink and then some gold with like the paler gold background and then some marquees, smaller marquees with an iridescent coating on. So, yay, it's going to be very, very sparkly. Where did the blue go? Oh, the blue is going to be on some of the butterflies. So we're going to get quite a bit of contrast on it. Lots of pinks and golds. And then there's going to be that blue and orangey peach colours as well. Very nice. Yeah, you do get free postage on Timo as well, so that's usually pretty good. Right, the other project I got, this was another offer that they keep tempting me with these offers and I can't resist a bargain. Uh, this was £2.53 and, and they are normally around about sort of £6, £7, £8 pound now. So, it is a notebook. Okay, so pen, boat and wax again, getting a nice collection of those. Ooh, ooh look, oh, lots of different crystals and gems in there. So I just wanted to see if the notebooks were the same quality as the notebooks that uh, I get from the companies I deal with. And uh, yeah, it does seem as though it is. It's just like a sketchbook. Um, there's no lines or anything on the pages. I believe it said it was 50 pages. Uh, let me just have a feel of the... Is that just one page? Yeah, it's not a bad size. I would think it's probably... Oh no, it's two pages. That, aha. Uh -huh. Um, it feels a bit like photocopy paper. It's that, so what's that, about 80 or 90 GSM. So, you know, it's practically see-through. I can more or less see my hand through it there. But it's a nice creamy colour and it's okay if you're using it as a sketchbook. Um, particularly if you're using alcohol markers or anything, I would put something underneath your page. But be alright for, say, pencil crayons or anything like that, or just making notes. It's like in this faux leather... Um, in the black so nice and uh, nice and bendy as well and then the front we've just got this nice flower design which is all in lemons and oranges i believe uh, yeah i just thought it was quite a nice design and for the price i thought well it's worth it and notebooks are always handy and uh, I do like gifting them to people as well. Because, again, it's something that rather than just giving a picture to somebody, which they may or may not hang on the wall. Um, I do suspect that sometimes when I give people pictures that they maybe just come out when I go around. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, Lizzie's here, get the picture on the wall. <laughs> oh, dear. Maybe it's just me that does that. No, I've not done that for a long, long time. Um, but that's a whole other story but yeah so i just thought this was quite pretty and it's something as i say rather than just giving somebody a picture that uh, at least if they don't even like the design on the front there's always going to be a time even with phones and tablets and computers that you're going to need to write something down so yeah quite handy to have next to the telephone book at uh, next to the if you've got a telephone or next to the front door so if somebody tells you something you can write it down Okay, let's have a look at the Oh, let me do it a quick measure. I think it's going to be a standard size. It's about a five by seven, is it? Just um, a standard size. Yeah, we're about five and three quarter inches, which is about 14 and a half centimetres by eight and a quarter inches, 21 centimetres. So it's your standard sort of half of an A4 size book there so yeah very handy again usually seal them because um if you're putting it in and out of a bag or handling it a lot the gems can move but looks like we've got some good specials we've got one two oh it's nine different gems and colors and it's nearly all specials wow so we've got your uh, honey crystal there and an aqua crystal and a green and a lime green so there's only actually four crystals on it 
Then we've got these gorgeous marquees, which are like the fire red ones that you get your pink and your purple and everything on them with the iridescent coating. We've got the owl claws, which are your orange teardrops with an iridescent coating. Large red. And then a little bit smaller red. They've got facets on, they haven't. So I do think the ones, the acrylic gems without facets on, do look like glass uh, when you look at them from a distance. And then lots of these, which are like a pink round, and then they've got all like little bobbles on the top. Yeah, like all little dots just put on the top. So very pretty. Okay, so let's have a look where these go. All right, so number one, so the pinks are dotted sort of all around on the flowers like berries. Number two looks like they're the middles of uh, the flowers and number three is the middles of the flowers, so they're going to be red. And then number four is all the um, teardrop shapes. So the flowers are actually going to be um, a red middle and an orange round. Oh, that'll be different. Well, I don't think I've ever seen any flowers like that. Very sort of uh, 70s colours, isn't it? Green and orange with a bit of red thrown in there as well. Mm -hmm. Nice though. Not bad. £2, what did I say? £2.47. £2.53. So just over £2.50 for a notebook and you get to do it yourself. Yay! <laughs> and then the canvases that I got. Right. So this one was, um, in fact, they both were on a special offer. This one was £1.91 and I thought it was just really, really pretty. Oh, it's in a soft plastic bag so it doesn't want to come out. Come on, get out. And it's 30 by 40, so that's not bad at all. Uh, £1.91 for a 30 by 40 painting. But I just thought it was really, really pretty. And I have got a lot of like gonk gnomes and things. And I thought, well, let's get them a little house to live in. And I just thought, well, they'd probably like to live in this one. It's all covered in flowers and it's got little butterflies flying. Just thought that's really good, really pretty. Yeah. I love the colour palette on it as well. So, yeah, do you think um, possibly gnomes and things living in it? I'd quite like to live in that house. I don't think the door's very high though and the ceilings aren't going to be very high so I'd probably bash my head because I am quite tall. <laughs> but I just thought this was so pretty. It's a very, very thin canvas. It's quite a stiff canvas but it's very thin so it's very pliable. Quite often when you get the stiffer canvases they're quite a thick one uh, and it's a the piece of um, cover paper is only just over the bits that you're diamond painting which is just around there so yeah you can see where sort of corners have been cut a little bit not quite the quality of the canvas and you know usually you get the whole thing covered in the paper and this one is just uh, covered where it needs to be so yeah you can see just you know say pay for what you get but as I say £1.91 under £2 for a diamond painting great great for somebody starting out as well pen boat and wax and toolkit and we have eight nine ten eleven twelve different gems and colors and we do have some gem codes on as well so yeah we'll be able to kick this one down okay right let me just give it a quick flatten uh, so it says it's a 30 by 40 but i think we'll find it's a standard uh, 25 by 35 we'll just move these out of the way i'm getting all bogged down here <laughs> So much on my desk. Oh, things are starting to fall over now as well. <laughs> That's never good. Yeah. One day somebody will walk into this room and they'll just see my little legs sticking out going, Ooh, I'm stuck. And I'll have a pile of stuff on top of me. <laughs> okay, where's my tape measure gone now? I've just moved everything and put it all on top of my tape measure. That wasn't a good move, Liz. What are you doing? Right, so. Yeah, 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. By 35 centimetres, 13 and three quarter inches. So your standard size on your painting. And let's have a look at the gems. They're 12 different ones. Oh, we've got some hot pink in here. 
sent me the rubbish. Why is it? All companies send me the rubbish. Maybe they just open them and just they stay in the packet. I don't know. Stop sending me your rubbish. <laughs> You're paying to send that across as well. Okay. So, oh, just as an aside as well, I'm not affiliated. I don't get any commission or anything from Timu. Um, they did sort of send me the links and everything in the beginning and I didn't bother. And if you remember a few Timu unboxings ago, uh, I did mention that I'd had a couple of emails saying we want to pay you to um, promote Timu. And I got a couple from two different people and they were very, very persistent. And as I say, actually emailing. Um, and I did reply to one and say, no, you know, I don't want paying for showing Timu products. Thank you very much. And I did still get then more emails and I do think that was a scam. So just be careful um, if you do get anything from people pretending to be Timu. I never did. I should have reported it, really. Uh, I didn't think at the time. But yeah, in hindsight, you start thinking Timu don't pay you to uh, promote their products. They tend to just send you the products and ask you to do them. So, yeah, I say, just uh, be careful on things like that. Oh, wow, there's some very different ones in this. Okay, so we're starting off with our standard silver, which is a little bit dusty. Yeah, that's not a real clear one, is it? And then we've got a blue, which again, it's just a little bit dusty. And a lime green and a pale pink. And then a, um, a peachy colour. Yeah, they are just looking a little bit dusty, aren't they, those? Mm, okay. And then these are clearer. That's um, a purple round with no facets on. That's uh, a different one. And then we have some white pearls with an iridescent coating on. And then we've got some red, sort of ready pink with an iridescent coating on and a star stamped in the top. We've got some marquees with an iridescent coating on in the silver. And then some smaller ones. Now then, are they green? They might be green. That, I was just thinking they don't look very sparkly compared to those. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. These are really, really sparkly and they just look really, really dull. But maybe they're green rather than being silver. Mm, okay. And then we've got some little purple ones. Have they got facets on? No, there's no facets on those either. And then we have a hot pink teardrop right at the end. Yes. And I think that's going to be the flower. Yes, it is. It's E. So that's the flower there. E for Elizabeth. <laughs> Made for me. <laughs> yes, my proper name is Elizabeth, but uh, there's only really my mother calls me that these days. That, that, yeah, my friends used to ring up and say, is Liz there? And my mum would shout, Elizabeth. And they'd say, oh, does your mum call you Elizabeth? <laughs> say, yes, my Sunday best name. <laughs> okay, and the last one. I know it's a C-A-T. Millie's in the room, so I won't... Uh, yeah, she's on my feet, so I won't uh, say that. C-A-T. Out very loud. She can actually spell now as well. She's got used to the uh, spelling of it. So we have to be even more careful these days. And I've just seen this one so many times and really, really liked it. And it was on offer for £1.37. And I thought, oh, it would be rude not to. Oh, no, look. Oh, no. Well, I've never had this happen before. The canvas, they've not put the clear cover on, look. It's flapping here. And it's got folded over so the canvas has actually stuck to itself the back has stuck to the front oh dear me i hope that hasn't taken all the glue off that's got a really really sticky patch on there now you put some goo gone on that yeah that's going to stick to everything it's not it's very sticky here it's not as sticky there but i have got my magic glue so that's a little bit disappointing okay Pen boat and wax, but I mean £1.37, well, yeah. Wow, this has got a huge piece of uh, cover sheet on it, even though, even though they've, uh, sort of like, as they've been in a rush to do it. I mean, it's an easy mistake to make. Uh, it's the first time it's ever happened. Unfortunately, it's come on a Timo one where it's uh, just caught on itself. So, yeah, the paper's just bent over as they've wrapped it around the drills. But we can work with that. That's not bad. And for the price, I say. Mm. And again, this is quite a pliable canvas. It's quite a thin canvas. 
it's stiff feeling i don't know how i can describe it it's like cardboard but really really floppy as it were very strange feel to it it's more or less the same as the other one that i've just shown you as well but i just love this i did used to have a c80 that was called Gemma, and she was beautiful and um, she was a big fluffy tabby and she thought she was a dog she used to come around she used to come on walks with uh, at that time i did have well i had three cats two dogs and various other animals as well budgies and guinea pigs and rabbits and uh, hamsters and all sorts um but yeah she used to come around on our walks with the dogs she used to run along the walls of the houses as we were walking down the street and then when we got to the field she'd be chasing mice and things and we'd just be playing with the dogs so yeah she used to yeah i miss her she was uh, a great a big fluffy thing but she was very very naughty she used to get the dogs into trouble she used to steal food and then as you walked through the door she'd make sure she knocked it on the floor so it looked like the dogs had jumped up and got the food whereas actually it was her that had been eating it and i only know realized what was going on when i saw one there i just was a bit quicker than she was walked through the door and i just saw bat it over the edge of the side so yeah she used to like getting the dogs into trouble <laughs> very clever so it's a 30 by 30 so we'll be 25 by 25 square and um, it is quite a nice shape but because it's got all these bits sticking out i won't be cutting this one out it will just stay as is i don't know whether it'll go on the wall or not but the expression and the way it's laid just reminds me of gemma and i just thought yeah i'm going to get that one it's 11 different gems and colors uh, unfortunately no crystal codes or anything there and there are no crystal codes on the pack either so that's a shame but that's uh, yeah the way the cookie crumbles sometimes but we can still kick down our normals oh look and this one's starting off with a hot pink yay thanks Gemma you've sent me a hot pink <laughs> and then that's champagne gold and they're both the same yeah, they're both the same colour, I was going to say. Are my eyes deceiving me? They look the same colour. Honey gold. And, ooh, a lovely sea aqua blue. And then a little bit of a sky blue there. And that one's like a grey green colour. And then some red rounds with no facets. And then some red rounds with the iridescent coating. So they look pinky and uh, hot pinky as well. And then some little teardrops in a champagne gold, some blue marquees, and then some green marquees with an iridescent coating on. So, and these are all nice and clear. These haven't got any uh, dusty looking drills in them. So, yeah, just sometimes, I don't know, I suppose it's what's in the factories. I do find as well, actually, when you are putting crystal gems on, that quite often your wax or whatever you're using in your pens to pick them up does stop working quite quickly because i do think it's the dust that's actually on the gems and um, that sort of like sticks to your putty or your wax or your glue or whatever you're using and sort of like makes it less sticky so yeah i do find i go through i change uh, up quite a lot when i'm doing crystal paintings whereas when i'm using just resin and acrylic gems my uh, gel seems to last an awful lot longer so yeah well that's my little haul for now so i've had a few diamond painting things this time i've got a lovely little house actually you could just imagine that cat well not the cat that size because it's bigger than the house but that cat sat on that doorstep couldn't you you know be just uh, yeah very very pretty guarding it looks like it's got an earring in there doesn't it the way that the, the uh, shape of the gems there coming down yes it's a very hip with it cat with an earring in <laughs> we had our lovely notebook as well and our little love owls oh don't put the owls near the cat and oh i just said that word somebody just looked at me we'll put him uh, near the tree oh no because that's got butterflies in it as well actually same color palette there look that tree would look lovely in that garden with all those butterflies there yeah could put the house in a frame on the wall and i could put the tree near it so we look like we've got a garden hmm. just a thought <laughs> That's the stand for that one and then i just got to, oh yes my diamond painting pen which is okay i mean when you think the diamond painting actually was cheaper than the pen 
Mm, go figure. Uh, my little stapler and then my little kitchen uh, sink things there. Just a couple of extra little bits. Uh, my cork mats and then my little box to put everything in. So quite a nice little haul actually this one. Uh, useful things and some pretty things and uh, yeah. Little gadgety things. They'll make Hubby happy because he likes little gadgety things as well. Okay, well, uh, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to come back and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button, oops, down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.